Hello! Welcome to episode 3 of Feed Me Quests, my series on getting a RuneScape quest cape after quitting in 2007. I've never achieved a quest cape before, so that's my goal going forward. What's changed since 2007? I don't really know. But for today's episode, we'll be tackling Imp Catcher, Pirate Treasure, and X Marks the Spot. Enjoy watching me struggle through hunting down those four mysterious beads and digging up exciting treasures. Without further ado, let's begin! Okay, so we got ten attack last episode, so let's get that black skim. We have just enough money from selling the uh, trouts and everything that we got last episode, and our big reward of six sardines or seven, whatever. So let's get those upgrades. Oh no. Don't do this to me now. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> come on, it even says like the commonly bought price is 12. Hmm. Well, that breaks my cojones. Well, you know what? I'll just leave it in there for 17. Hopefully someone gives me one in the future. But... <laughs> I don't know if that ruins my plans or not. <clears throat> what can I get instead? Hmm. I guess the long sword will do. Maybe that'll buy immediately if I put it in for a thousand. Thank you. Don't even care that I got ripped off. It's alright. We got our black sword now. And we still got some leftover money. And I'm gonna need at least like, oh, you know what? Let me uh, go grab something else for the next quest I'm going to do after Imp Catcher. And that is a apron. Yay. Okay. So, you know what? I'll actually just keep that stuff with me. I don't think I'm going to need food for imps. Let's hope not, but... All right. Let's go to Ram Jam to go kill some mimps. You know what? Maybe I'll start this quest too while I'm here. Oh, and I think I can also claim some some rewards. You have completed getting started with attack. You receive one steel longsword. Sweet. Oh. Getting started with fishing, you receive one fishing rod and a hundred fishing bait. Okay. And it's last of the rewards you've currently earned. I better be going now. <coughs> Hello there. I'm looking for a quest. Hmm, well now that you mentioned it, I could do some help. The name's Vios, I'm a treasure hunter from the wondrous kingdom of Karend. Great Karend, where is that? Across the sea to the far west. It is a truly magnificent place. Interesting, so it brings you to Lumbridge. I am here on a bit of a hunt, the hunt for treasure. Back in my home of Great Karend, I came across a scroll. I believe it will lead me to something of great value. 
Unless I've hit a bit of a blocker. The scroll has led me here, but as I don't really know the area, I'm not sure what to do next. Maybe you could help with this. X marks a spark quest. I think I already have a spade, but let me just buy another one. Give me a quest. Give me a quest. What? Give me a quest, please. Well, seeing as you asked nicely, I could do with some help. The wizard Grayzag next door decided he didn't like me, so he enlisted an army of hundreds of imps. These imps stole all sorts of my things. Most of these things I don't really care about, just eggs and balls of string and things. But they stole four of my magical beads. There was a red one, a yellow one, a black one, and a white one. These imps have now spread out all over the kingdom. Could you get my beads back for me? I shall try. That's great, thank you. I usually just go and buy them all at the GE, but you're lucky you don't have that much money. You know, I'm just going to cut through the lawn here. I don't care. They're pirates. Oh, there's one. Give me your imp, you bastard. Give me a bead. Oh, my God. Sea shanty, too. I'm so happy. I haven't heard this song in forever. This is rather sad. The sim should be dead by now. He's gonna run away. This is like Safari Zone shit. Come on. Just a little bit more. There we go. Give me a bead! Fiendish ashes, huh? What are those? A heap of ashes, huh? That's interesting. And a flyer. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, no bead. That's one imp down. More to go. Arr, matey. I'm in search of treasure. Error treasure you be after, eh? Well, I might be able to tell you where to find some. For a price. What sort of price? Well, for example, if you can get me a bottle of rum. Not just any rum. I'd like some rum made on Karamja Island. There's no rum like Ram Jam rum. Okay, I'll bring you some rum. You're a saint, although it'll take a miracle to get it off Karamja. What do you mean? The customs office has been clamping down on the export of spirits, lad. You seem like a resourceful young lad. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to slip the stuff past them. Well, I'll give it a shot. Arr, that's the spirit. Let's grab some bananas. Talk to Zumbo. Give me some of that room. Let's talk to Banana Boat Guy over here. Luthus. Hello, I'm Luthus. Could you offer me employment on your plantation? Yeah, I can sort of something out. There's a crate ready to be loaded onto the ship. If you wouldn't believe the demand for bananas from Wyden ship over in Port Serum. I think this is the third crate of ship for Tim this month. If you can fill it up with bananas, I'll pay you 30 gold. Alright. Pay 
Pack all your bananas in there. And stash the rum. Talk to Lucas. I filled a crate with bananas. Well done. Here's your payment. Back to a K. Now the real fun begins. Oh no. I'm being attacked by snakes. Not snakes. You know what? Here, I'm gonna do myself a favor. Oh, I, oh no. This is a bad idea. <laughs> this is a really bad idea. I oh, thank God. I've been saved by the imp. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be a while. Give me a bead. No, more fiendish ashes. Ashes. Oh, they count as bones. No shit. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. Yeah, yeah, cabbage. Yay, 12 attack. Maybe that means I can start actually hitting these fuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna take 11 minutes for my run to get back. okay yes that's one bead down I swear to god if I get duplicates though for the love of god <clears throat> another fucking ball of wool <laughs> Teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Hit the fucking thing. Thank you. They're just trying to get rid of my hat. Here we go. Yay! Prayer level 12. Oh, that's hit points. Alright. And attack. Fifteen attack. Thank fuck.
15 attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Speak the devil. One more, baby. One more. Yay, 14 hit points. And more chicken. Yay, another mind talisman. More money. Oh, I know. I need my prayer XP. Uh. Superhuman strength. You bastard. What is this? The fuck is this? Fine. You know what? I want to kill you. I'll kill your brothers. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I was on pace. And then they gave me two red beads. No. Oh. I need a yellow bead. <laughs> Yay, more attack levels. Hopefully I can kill imps faster. I'm going to scream. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God. All right. Hey, Wyden. Wait, I want to shop here. Talk. Can I get a job? I don't have a white apron, but just gonna yoink. Fuck that brown apron, I don't need it. Can I get a job? Alright, cool. Search the banana crate and give me my bottle of rum. 
Alright matey, have you brought some rum for your old mate Frank? Yes, I got some. Now's a deal a deal. I'll tell you about the treasure I used to serve under a pirate called One-Eyed Hector. Hector were very successful and became very rich, but about a year ago we were boarded by the customs and excise agents. Hector were killed along with many of, my, of the crew. I were one of the fewest to escape, and I escaped with this. Frank happily takes the rum and hands you a key. This is by Hector's key. This be Hector's key. I believe it opens his chest in his old room in the Blue Moon Inn in Varric. With any luck, his treasure will be in there. Okay, thanks. I'll go and get it. So how are you doing finding my beads? All right, here are the beads. Thank you. And if you'll just sign this document giving us all of Manhattan. Wait a minute. Have these been in your ass? What? No, they're just ordinary beads. You know, like you asked for. Hey, smell these. Oh yeah, these have definitely been in the book. Holy shit! Yay, level 8 magic. Alright, well from there... Alright, back to Lumbridge. Where within the town lives a man named Bob. He walks out his front door and takes one step east, seven steps north, five steps west, and one step south. And dig. You dig up a treasure scroll. That's right behind Lumbridge Castle. We get up a mysterious orb. You dig up a treasure scroll. Fuck. The cipher reads Is Bazaps Kujikufu. This must have been the treasure that Veos is after. I should take it to him. If I remember right, he's docked at the northernmost pier in Port Serum. Which is right next door. And I can't open the tre the casket. But it's going to weigh me down by five fucking pounds. Brilliant. This is just what I was looking for. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. So what is this treasure anyway? Oh, we're nothing important, just something that might be of use to me when Great Corinne. If you say so. Anyway, as promised, a reward for you. One quest point, an antique lamp, 200 coins, and a beginner clue scroll. Anyway, I'd best be getting back to Great Corinne. I'm sure I'll be back here before long enough, though. There's always more treasure to be found. If you ever va fancy visiting the kingdom, come find me here. I'm more than happy to take you there. Considering an extra, thank you for your help. Sounds great. Thanks, Veos. The anagram reveals Carpet Ahoy, either, but that means Apothecary in Southwest Varric, which I need to go anyway. And I'm going to get more attack XP because why not? 19 attack. Woo! Visit the City of the White Knights and the park. Saradoman points to the X, which marks the spot. Hmm. Oh no, a level 4 farmer. Oh shit. 
Don't you kill me, Mr. Farmer. Yeah. Fuck you. One-eyed Hector's treasure. Ooh, a ring and an emerald and some coins. Dang. All right, here we go. And spin. Hello, Yuri. Is it possible to commit no mistakes and still lose? <laughs> Thanks, Picard. Moment of truth? Huh. That's not too shabby. Alright, let's go to the bank. Okay. Don't know why anybody's buying these. Has 10 quest points, kill a little of 100, and spent 20 hours, 20, 0 minutes. Okay. How much longer do I have? I still have to play for another 13 hours before I can mass sell shrimp, I guess. Alright. So 22k. Can I finally buy a purple cape? Let's just put it up for 5k, fuck it. Yay! Now I saw that you can get gloves too? When the fuck? You can't even buy these... Like... Alright. Well, fuck yeah. There we go. Swag's coming through now. But alright. Got three more quests down. I got Imp Catcher, Pirate's Treasure, and X marks a spot down. And I think that's what I'm going to call it for today. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you bearing with me while I make this. So many games that I'm just excited to play these days, but I will make time for this when I can. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. This is Eaton with Feed Me Games, or Feed Me Quests. Have a good day. Feed me games.